Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to take you through making a really easy fall soup, if you've done the prep work ahead of time, with some yummy, yummy butternut squash. So if you've watched any of our other videos, you guys know that we have grown a lot of butternut squash last season and this season. We canned, we pressure canned some of it, uh, and I've made a very savory soup with that before for you guys. These were fresh butternut that uh, I let age on the counter for about a month, and then I sliced them up, cleaned them out, roasted them. I did a video on that as well. These butternut squash I roasted with a very little bit of brown sugar some cinnamon, some nutmeg, pumpkin pie spice, ground clove, and just a little bit of ground ginger. And these, I of course rubbed them with uh, coconut oil first and then applied the spices on them. Uh, I roasted them in the oven for 40 minutes because I did quite a few of them, uh, 40 minutes at 400 degrees. And I did these about two days ago now. So I've got these here and I'm gonna go ahead and take off all the skins and start our soup. The only other things that I need to make this soup, I've got some uh, some homemade uh, pressure canned duck stock that I'm gonna use. And I've got some coconut milk that I'm gonna be adding to it as well. And you can substitute that out for you know heavy cream if you like or whatever, but I prefer to use coconut milk. So since these are already roasted, all I have to do, and they've roasted and cooled obviously since I did these a couple days ago, is it's super easy now to peel the skin off. Super, super easy. So now you can see this is already like falling apart in my hand. I'm just literally gonna throw it over here into my pot. I'm gonna add the coconut milk and the stock. I'm gonna let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Then once it's come up to temp and simmered for a little while, I'm gonna take my immersion blender and blend it all up and let it simmer a little bit on low for another five minutes or so. And then it's ready to enjoy. So that's it guys, that's how I take that roasted squash and make a nice uh, sweeter soup. Yummy, yummy. Enjoy, give it a try. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get all notifications. 